So I wake up to my friend Ed making out with some mad bitch. Shortly before realizing he was fighting back. And that wasn't a woman, it was a really dead looking man. What the fuck Ed, making out with the dead is kinda of fucked up bro. Ed and I began to run off into the distance where we came across another zombie. Where Ed proceeds to completely game of the fuck out of the zombie and just act like that never happened. We noticed even more zombies except this time they were eating dirt. My character came up with the idea of sneaking past but I'm not a pussy and proceeded to murk the fuck out of those libtards and continued on my way. We made our way to the nearby building where we found some other survivors that asked us to help clear the ground, went off to release our anger on the locals with our overlarge sticks. We came across a mentally ill individual banging their head against the wall so we decided to be the regular citizens we are and proceeded to clear the gene pool of all those that pollute it. And we did so with our sticks. After wandering into a tent, I found myself a shotgun. After finding out I couldn't use it on Ed, I made my way to a nearby zombie and proceeded to blast the poor man off a rock. After attempting to jump over the rock, I nearly had an asthma attack. So I had to go around where I found the zombie wasn't dead. So I wanted to finish it off before my psychotic friend just runs out of bush and just murders the poor man. We heard gunshots in the distance. Much like school, we began making our way towards them, where we found a woman. It seemed like she could handle herself with her interesting sniping tricks, so we let her do her thing. After switching to the female character like the sad virgin gamer boy I am, I went up onto a ledge where I began taunting a zombie. We made our way back to the shed where we found everyone dead. Ed tells us he has actually been a reddit doctor for two months now and he knows how to handle this. He walks up to the zombie to look for a wallet where I notice the zombie twitches but I guess Ed doesn't. The zombie began sexually violating Ed so I made my way in full speed to save him. We decided it wasn't safe so we took a car and because of my amazing driving skills I failed the jump and crashed the car into a river where a shit ton of zombies began running at us. It was at this point I realized that I did not have car insurance. We fucked. After a massive amount of zombies running at us, we were saved somehow by a cutscene. We made our way through the river to climb up the ledge where we found another car. We made it to a diner where we found some food, but more importantly, my character did some crazy shit and totally fucked up some poor old man. We proceeded to steal a cop car and began heading to the nearby church, because at this point, only God can save us. Just kidding, Bible pages make our rolling paper. After arriving at the church and meeting some of the inhabitants, this other female decided to show me around. So I decided to show my cool new 8 shooter revolver that I found on the way here. We needed medication for Ed badly and his terrible doctoring skills. So I made my way to a nearby vet. You may be wondering why I'm not driving. Well, some douchebag was like, No, it will be too loud. After breaking into the vet and performing some demonic shit on a zombie, I tried to hop in a car, then realized cunt mac fuckface over here doesn't want to. After running for less than 5 minutes, this other chick's bag was coming apart. So we hopped in a car and left cunt mac fuckface to run the rest home, even making sure to hoot next to him when we were by zombies. The next day I decided to pick up the character that reminds me of myself, a fat cowboy. Today's mission was to clear out a local frat house because they were making too much noise overnight. So I headed over to their house with my 12 gauge shotgun. But I murdered a whole family of about 12 immigrants. I had to take a shit but when I opened the door I found the female squatted on the floor over a pile of blood. Okay. I made my way to the nearby petrol station where I honked to call all the customers out. Where I decided to discreetly run them all over. Afterwards arriving at some random Fluckerhead's house to pick up a doctor that was apparently healing their brother. Turns out, I had to help them defend their house from a horde of communists coming their way. But it wasn't until Boogie2988 showed up, this is when I knew shit was about to go down. So I let him brutally beat the shit out of this poor man while I put shots into Big Boogie's head. After protecting our lands from the communists and Boogie2988, it turns out their brother is badly ill and he will become a zombie if not treated soon. So they got all sad, so I did the best thing to cheer them up and decided to put their brow out of his misery by a round from my Glock. I don't know about you, but I think I would be a pretty good doctor. Apparently my neighbours are having issues and I need to help them. So I make my way to the neighbours I never knew existed the house, 
where they said I had to kill an armored zombie. So I thought to myself, how hard could that actually be? We made our way to a car where we drove to the location of this apparent armored zombie. After seeing Big Bubba, I hit him with my four-wheeler Bucky and killed him instantly. I don't know about you, but this game is fucking easy. Hey guys, once again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like to see more States of Decay videos, drop a like. If we can get about like 8 likes on this video, I will continue making States of Decay videos as well. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support. Have a great day and bye guys.